Hello YouTube, it's Andrew bringing you guys another video. And this, I was going to be using this video to talk about YCS Anaheim, and in a way it still kind of is. But it's more a reaction to seeing so many people butt-kissing Patrick Hoban. It's sickening. And it's not that I'm salty, and it's not anything against him personally. Okay, let me get back to the beginning, which is where I should have started. Okay. Several people I've seen videos of, including the infamous M. Cole 40, saying that Patrick Hoban is the best player in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. I would beg to differ. Am I saying he's a bad player by any stretch of the meaning? No. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. He's a very good player. I've seen him play. He's very skilled, and in real life, he is a fairly nice person. But, to go and say he is the very best Yu-Gi-Oh! player right now in the game? Uh, no. Has he won a couple, two out of three YCSs that he's gone to in a row? Yeah. And does that take skill? Yes. Does it take luck? Oh, heck yeah. But, and has he topped ARG series and won ARG series? Even though those events are like minor league events in my opinion. Um, by the way, they're run and everything. They, has he done well in those events? Yes. But in actuality, there's too many allegations, in my opinion. There's too many rumors, and I've even observed it myself, watching one of the, the feature matches at the ARG Circuit Series, where the opponent handed Patrick Hoban a win. The one, no epic story, but oh, Patrick Hoban came back from 100 life points. No, the dude had like three turn, three or four turns in which he could have eliminated him, but for some odd reason, he didn't attack. See, I don't know if the guy's been paid off or whatever, or saying like, oh, I respect you too much, I'm not going to do that. No, if you have a chance to finish one, go for the throw, go for the jugular, rip him the shreds. Patrick Hoban shouldn't, know, shouldn't have won that match against that Cleefort player. The Cleaver player had a bo flooded board and had more than enough damage, but he didn't attack for like two, three, four turns when he could have. It was re it was infuriating. It's like, why aren't you finishing him off? And then, oh, got to give Patrick Hoban his chance to come back. If you're letting a person win, <sighs> there's no class in that. There's no skill in that. It just makes the person who wins look pathetic and the person who lost intentionally look pathetic very pathetic. There's been too many allegations of this. And even though Patrick Hoban's gone to tons of different events, he's paid to go to these events. So he has to perform well. And he does what he can to perform well. See, I don't know if he's bribing people, in some cases possibly to let him win according to these allegations and stuff I've personally observed. Or, if the other people are just in all in all in shock being, oh, Patrick Hoban. My goodness, people. Stop lowering, making yourselves look pathetic and making him feel higher, glorifying him as if he's a god. Newsflash, he ain't no god. You guys may, and people in response to this video may thumbs it down, and that's fine. Their haters are going to hate. And I'm not trying to be salty or anything. Because if I had the money to go all these different events, I'd want to do the best I could as well. But I'm not going to bribe somebody to let me have a victory, nor, am I, nor would I prefer to have them just give me an automatic victory. It's, it's kind of insulting. Well, not kind of. It out and out is insulting. And it just demeans the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! that I have been playing since day one when it came out. And it just demeans the game. It makes it look even worse. And it just goes to show why Yu-Gi-Oh! players can't really be taken seriously because they're just going to throw matches. They're going to get salty. They're going to whine. And it may sound like I'm whining, but it's not. I'm passionate about this game. I love this game. I enjoy playing it. I've enjoyed getting to travel the few times when I've been able to save up money to go different places um, to get to hang out with friends, get to duel all sorts of different people, trade, sell, all kinds of stuff. I've enjoyed get I enjoy getting to do that. I have a passion for it. And to see people just ruin do things that ruin the game it's insulting and infuriating 
again, I'm not saying Patrick Hoban's a bad player. I've seen him play. He is skilled. But the fact of the matter is seeing and hearing allegations and witnessing it on ARG's Twitch feed myself begs a better question. Is Hoban really the best player right now? According to the evidence, no, he's not. Is he the most famous or, in some cases, infamous player in Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, I'm going to leave that for you guys to decide. Personally, he's very famous in the Yu-Gi-Oh game. He's very infamous in the Yu-Gi-Oh game. He started trends, and he's ended trends. He's also jumped from deck to deck to deck, which, in a way, is kind of good because you get to experience all these different decks. But, seriously... Overall, the creativity from him has been very bland. His decks have been very bland. I'm not saying he's bad, but the decks he's been playing have been very bland. In fact, most of the ARG decks I've seen recently have been very bland. But, I just, ARG is supposed to be defining the game, setting trends for the game. And in some ways, they have, in, in early part, late part of 2013 and early part of 2014, they've done that. But, They've even flatlined. But, again, I'm getting off topic. Sorry about that. I'm going to wrap this up. Patrick Hoban. Is he the best player? Again, that's going to be for you guys to decide, but I personally say no. Because he's paid to go to these different events, and there's probably thousands of players, hundreds or thousands of players out there that are much better than he is, but they don't have the backing to go to regionals and ARG Circus Series, and YCSs, and Nats. They don't have the funding to go to all these different things. They may want, once in a blue moon, if ever, get to go to a Regionals or YCS. I, myself, I've been fortunate, fortunate enough to get to go to three different YCSs. YCS 100, and YCS Seattle in November of... Well, in YCS Seattle, both of which were in 2012, and more recently, I got to go to YCS Dallas, which was back last month in October. Overall, I've done really well at the events and had a lot of fun. My third event wasn't my best event, but it was also the toughest competition. And, yeah, there's different people are able to do different things. But, you know what, there's going to be some people that don't aren't able to go to any of these events. And yet, if given half the chance, they would probably wipe the floor with these big name people. Whether it be Patrick Hoban, or Jeff Jones, or... Um, spacing on the other people. Oh, Billy Brake. I mean, or Bobby Brake. I mean, all these different people from Team ARG, or in the case of Europe, which is uh, for Team United Gosis, given half a chance, these people, there would be, given the face of those people, people would beat them. And, and more than likely possibly even wipe the floor with them. Given half the chance. Not Again, I'm not mocking their skills. I'm just saying, given the chance, there would be people that if you were to do a best out of five series or a best out of five matches, they would wipe them four out of five matches. They would take four out of five matches easily. Given half the chance. But, again, that's all hypothetical situations and cannot be entirely 100% proven. You just go on what the track record is of people, of all these different people that have done well at these big events. Again, it's up to you guys to say if Patrick Hoban is the best player right now or not. I say no. I would say the most famous slash infamous player right now is Patrick Hoban. But, again, I want to hear... That's all I got to say about this. I ranted on now for nine minutes. And it, it, I'm probably going to sound like I'm salty. But, it, again, it's not that. I'm passionate about this. I'm passionate about this game. I don't want to see it die. I don't want to see it get ruined or... De or uh, or defaced. It's all. It's already to a lot of people looks pathetic, and to further certain things make it even more pathetic. I don't want to see the game. I want to see the game revived and become better. Always better. Every day, people should try strive to make this game better. And again, that's all I got to say about that. Um, in the comment section below, let me know your opinions and thoughts on this issue. And yeah, whether and with 10 likes and or 10 dislikes um, or a combination thereof, the next video will more than likely go up 
tomorrow or Friday. Um, also, be looking forward to me possibly doing a guest upload on the Ignoble Knights of YouTube's channel. All right, and I'm gonna try and make a very a kind of special video for that. So I hope you guys will make sure to check that out and enjoy that. All right, peace out YouTube and have a wonderful rest of the weekend and happy Thanksgiving.